In this presentation, we're going to look at subtraction with twos complement. This is binary subtraction, and we're using the twos complement approach. This is the, one of a number of techniques used for binary subtraction. It's using it's a methods of complement, method of complements technique. So twos complement. So suppose we want to subtract nine this nine from fourteen. Now though that ten there is to indicate it's a decimal number. So just conventional uh, decimal. Uh, uh, 14 minus 9 gives you to 5 okay but here is how we would do it in binary subtraction now this is just a sort of a representation of the overall problem those are the numbers there in binary form so that's 14 in binary and 9 in binary okay so the setup of what so this is a bit of an approach to this so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, work with 9 and so the first step is convert the value that you're subtracting, so that's 9, to its one complement, okay? Change all the zeros to ones and all the ones to zeros. That's a very important step, okay? That's the, the first thing to sort of mention, okay? All the zeros to ones and all the ones to zeros. This is to compute the ones complement. Now we'll come to the twos complement shortly, but... So here we have, that's 9 in decimal, so it's 1001. Zero, zero, one. Okay, and so zero one one zero is the ones complement. Okay, so that's the ones complement. So we're going to use this now uh, in the next stage. But just to be clear, we convert one uh, switch from one to zero, like an, and zeros to ones. Okay, that gives us our ones complement. Okay. Now the next stage is to find the twos complement. So we add one to the ones complement to get the twos complement. Okay. So this is what we had from the last stage. Okay, zero one one zero. That's the ones complement. And essentially, all we're going to do is add one to it. Okay. So it's zero one one zero plus one gives us zero one one one. Okay. That's a pretty straightforward step in this case. In some other cases, it might be a bit more work to it. Uh, the fundamentals of binary addition are quite important, they're all the same. Okay, moving on from that. So, what we do is add the 2's complement to the other value. So the other value here was 14, it's the larger of the value. So this is 14, okay. And the 2's complement... ...was 0, 1, 1, 1, okay. And so let's add them all up together. I'm just going to get so add the uh, main number to the twos complement. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, one and zero gives us one. One and one gives us zero. Carry the one. One 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 is one. Carry the one. One and one is zero. Carry the one. Okay. Now, just a, something, to, something to remark upon there. Actually, I sort of give the game away here that we were dealing with four bit numbers here. 14 was a four bit number, 9 was a four bit number, but what we've ended up with is a five bit number. Okay? So, there's a thing here is called the overflow bit. It's, it's an excess um, bit. Okay? So, what we do is just disregard it or remove it. Okay? So, we're dealing with 4-bit numbers, so only from working from the right-hand side, just pick out the 4 bits that are relevant here. So here, we're going to remove the overflow bit, disregard it, so to speak, and so our answer is 0, 1, 0, 1. That's the answer. And you could probably sp spot that that should work out as a 5 decimal, which is the answer we were expecting. Okay, So that's the answer there. Uh, zero one zero one. Okay. Now let's work at a bit more troublesome example. One one zero zero one zero zero one, which is one hundred thirty seven in decimal. Uh, minus one one zero one zero one. Okay. Well, we'll set this up. So step one is I'm going to sort of deliberately fall into a trap here. Okay. So we're at one's complement stage here first. Now, I'm going to the ones complement. Now, if you're thinking, hold on, am I following into trap? Yes, I am. I'll just identify this first. 
let us get the one's complement. So, and you think, okay, is that the one's complement? Well, let's look at this number here. So, is this the one's complement? No. What we should do is set this up as two zeros here at the end, okay? Because this has eight bits, so this should have eight bits as well. So we should write this with eight bits. So what we're going to do is add in, or, or just bring it up to eight bit, okay? And so what we have to do now is just, we, at, the, at the start, we had two zeros, so now we have to put in two ones. Is that right? Yes, that, now it's right. Okay, so that is correct now. So the important thing here is that this was a eight bit, this was six bit. So, but we have to just rewrite it as an eight bit number. Okay, so put in two zeros, and then two ones as for the ones complement. That's the sort of trap of this one. Okay. Uh, after that, now it actually gets uh, relatively straightforward. Uh, what we're going to do is get the twos complement. And so what we do there is one one zero zero one zero one zero plus one gives us one one zero zero one zero one one. Okay, that's the twos complement down here. Okay, this is the ones complement. That's the twos complement. And now just add them together. So let's just see where I am. So one hundred and thirty-seven is. One zero 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 one zero zero one, and the two's complement was one 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 and one one zero zero one zero one one. Yeah, okay. Add them together. Okay, one and one gives us zero. Carry the one. One and one gives us zero. Carry the one. One. Uh, 1 and 1 gives us 0 carry the 1, so we have 1 there, 0 there, 1 there, 0 and 1, okay? Uh, let's just check how many bits we have, we got 4 there, 4 there, and 1 there. We sort of count from the right hand side moving left. So this is the overflow bit, disregard. Disregard it, so the answer is zero one zero one zero one zero zero and you just you can uh, just check your calculator just to sort of see is does that look right or um tell you what the way of checking it is if you're using Excel or a spreadsheet the commands are des to bind and bind to des okay and I've just done that now and it checks out so we're good. Okay, that's two's complement. Uh, just watch out for that little trap I used in the second example.